What is going on you guys? It is your boy Pyroto here with once again another video. I guess you could say in today's video we're going to be going over something that's kind of overdue and something that I've been needing to get done for a while now. Now let's just say it's going to involve these two tubs here and if you can think of the answer then drop it down in the comments but I doubt anybody will be able to guess what this video is going to be about. Well never mind you guys probably already know what it's about based off the title and thumbnail. I oh my gosh. So I guess I'll just tell y'all now, we're basically going to be breeding our crested geckos. We have one, two, three, four, five, six adult crested geckos. So we have six adult crested geckos that technically could breed. Now two or three of those won't be breeding right away, but I plan on potentially breeding them in the future. But yeah, I have two pairs roughly that I want to breed, one for each tub. And then once I get those breeding and have babies, then of course I'll probably be selling the babies and you guys can get some from me. But as you can see, we got our two tubs here they've already got ventilation and everything like that then we've got the bowls now i'll show you what those are for here in a little bit we got the feeding ledges some cork all sorts of different plants and then of course our geckos in their cages what we're gonna do is set up the enclosure set up their tubs and then introduce the two pairs into each tub and kind of tell you a little bit about each gecko so first thing we need to get in these tubs before we get plants or cork or anything else like that is we need to get paper towels on the bottom let's just see if this works Whoa! Well, there y'all go. It worked. The paper towels are now in the tubs. Now that we've gotten paper towels in these tubs, it is time to start setting them up. Now, I would like to say before anybody tries to leave hate or anything like that, saying that these tubs here are too small to keep or breed Cressy Echoes in. First of all, these tubs are only temporary housing for breeding, which obviously breeding only lasts a few months. And then, of course, they go into their own enclosures. And for one adult pair, it actually gives them a pretty decent amount of space. Keep in mind, an adult Cressy Echo is only about six inches or so so that's about that big they have all that space to run around climb around all that good stuff the other thing is when a female crested gecko is gravid, she's going to want as many places to hide and is not going to be moving too often. The gecko is going to hide until their eggs are laid. So regardless, they're not going to be doing too much during their time in these tubs. The other thing is you don't want super high spaces or anything like that for your geckos when they're breeding. Because if the female falls from a high space with eggs inside of her, you risk having her prematurely drop the eggs or anything like that. The eggs could die when she hits the ground because it's happened to me before where I was holding my female and then she jumped she hit the ground the female gecko herself was fine but the eggs inside delivered the next day they're like that big and they died of course so that's why I like these tubs here because they're not super duper tall so that if she falls it's not gonna do any sort of harm to the eggs and then of course it gives them just enough space to kind of roam around and crawl around while they're breeding now that we've gotten that cleared out of the way we're gonna start setting up our plants our cork our ledges all that good stuff inside of these tubs the first thing we need to do here is we need to get these cups filled with sphagnum moss now the reason I'm filling these cups with sphagnum moss is once the female has the eggs developed inside of her she's going to lay her eggs inside this soft moss and then that'll give the eggs more time to kind of sit in there until I pull them out to be incubated so basically, these are kind of like the refrigerator for the eggs so that they don't go bad until I'm able to get to them. Now on this tub here, I'm just going to do just enough to kind of fill the bottom up. You don't want to overdo it or underdo it. You want just enough to kind of create a fluffy cushion so that when she goes to lay her eggs, the eggs sit right there nice and cozy. Next, once you have your two little cups filled with moss, you're literally going to take your sprayer and spray them down pretty well. You want them to be really damp. You don't want them to be soaked, dripping water, or anything like that. But you want them to be very damp so that you don't have to spray them too much more and so that they'll hold humidity for your gecko's eggs. So just like that, then you'll pat it down, let it absorb all of that water, soak up all that water there. And then you can see it's damp, but it is not dripping water like crazy. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to get your cup, put each one on the front of the enclosure, not the very back, not the corner. You want it to be somewhere where you can look in and see them really easily. So we're going to put them each on the front, just like that in each corner, so that when I'm looking into this tub and I'm chilling, I'm like, oh, okay, oh, there's an egg. Let me open it up and then I can get the egg out. 
now that you guys have gotten your little moss trays inside the tub, it's time to start adding plants. Now all I'm gonna do is just add the plants of my choice. Now the reason why I'm wetting it is just to wet the suction cup. Then you're just gonna take your plant, put it in how you think looks nice, what's gonna give them a few climbing opportunities, just like so. Then I'm gonna grab some more plants. Then we've got another plant here. You can kinda see how it's starting to come along really nicely. We're gonna do the same thing on this opposite tub here. Just stick a plant in the corner, let them have some good climbing opportunities. Then we got this like statue looking guy. We'll put him probably on this back side here. We've got another big old plant. We're gonna wet the suction cup down, put it right across just like so. Then maybe we'll add some of this cork here. We like the way the cork looks, so we might put one like that. We've got this piece here. We can even put it down here to give them a place to hide. We've got this slanted piece. We can put this in the corner here, give them a spot to kind of ramp up and climb up on top of. Now, as you can see, we kind of got it set up. Once again, you don't want too much decor and you don't want too little decor. You kind of want a good in between. So now that we've gotten our tub set up, for the most part, we have to add our food and water dishes. Now, obviously, this food dish is just going to go somewhere on the top of the enclosure so they can climb up to it and, well, eat their food. Now, I'm kind of thinking either over here or maybe here in this corner. I'm going to kind of play along with it. We've also got this other one here for the other tub. So same thing. We can put it here, here maybe. There's so many different options. We can even do this over here and just kind of play along with it and see what looks best. So I went ahead and added both dishes towards the front just so all I have to do is pop off the tub grab their dish out throw it away and then add in a new one that way it's not all the way in the back and I'm not reaching all crazy stressing out the geckos or anything like that now that we've gotten all of that done so far let's spray these tubs down here we're gonna water them down really well just like so same thing on this tub here water it down really really good then since we've now watered them we're gonna go ahead and give them some food in each tub Well, now that these tubs are set up, we've got fresh food, fresh water, everything is good to go. That is basically how you can set up a breeding crested gecko tub. It's very, very simple. It's not that difficult at all. And it is time to start adding our geckos into the enclosure. So here we have in each one of these cups is our two pairs of crested geckos that are going to go into each tub. So our first pair is Godzilla and Apollo. These guys are OGs on the channel. I've had them forever. And as a matter of fact, Apollo right here was my first ever Crested Gecko that I ever purchased in my history of keeping Crested Geckos. But yeah, this girl right here was my first Crested Gecko. So she is still with us. She's about three years old, I believe. Big girl, beautiful Crested Gecko, by the way. And she's gonna be paired up with Godzilla, he's not a dairy cow isopod, but with Godzilla, our patternless male crested gecko, absolutely gorgeous gecko. He gets a really solid black when he's fired up, just like this. So he's a very pretty gecko, and I've had this guy for about two years. I think Godzilla was our second or third crested gecko, so he's pretty early on too. Then, moving on, we've got some more newcomers to our show. This girl I've had for about a year and a half now, and then this dude I've only had for a couple months. Now, this guy is absolutely gorgeous. It's a beautiful pinstripe crested gecko. Look at the patterns. Now, shout out to Kelly with Southern Reptile Supplies because she actually surprised me with him for Christmas. So, a great gecko right here. And then, of course, my boss with Southern Reptile Supplies, Andy, actually bought me this gecko a long time ago at an auction at a reptile expo. Very beautiful female so this is the female right here this is the male absolutely beautiful geckos nonetheless and I guess without further ado it's time to start breeding them alrighty dudes y'all ready to go in y'all's new setups are y'all excited? Here we go, y'all. Alrighty, guys. Oh, you're already on the run. Oh, boy. Come here. Chill out, homie. Chill out, homie. Alrighty, let's introduce this female here. Go. Going the wrong way. There she goes. Look at that. There she goes into her new setup. Let's get the mail. Hi, buddy. Hi, dude. Come on. 
Look at that guy, absolutely gorgeous gecko. And let's introduce him into his new setup. There they go. Now over time, they'll realize that they're with each other, then they'll start to breed. And if they do fight where it's brutal and they hurt each other, then I, of course, will separate them back into their original enclosures, but they should be fine nonetheless. Alrighty, Miss Apollo. Chill out, homie. Chill out. Where are you going, homie? You're going on my... Oh, my gosh. She's going up my arm. Oh, she jumped on my back. Oh, she's running for it. Oh, she's running for it. Come here. All righty, Miss Apollo. Let's go into your new setup. Wrong way. You're going the wrong way again. Oh, my gosh. Stop going the wrong way. There she goes. She just darted. She's panicking right now. Then we've got the male Godzilla here. Look at how crazy dark that gecko is. Is that not insane? So, there he goes into his new setup and then once again same thing over time they'll realize each other and they'll start to breed now those two have already been together and have not ever had any issues y'all have it we're gonna close their tubs up and leave these dudes alone because they're probably stressed out as heck right now from all that moving around hold on hold on, hold on. i was just about to make the outro but then i just realized look at this look at this y'all the male is already clamping onto the female do y'all see that can y'all see that he's already biting under her tail right now now i know that seems like oh my gosh he's gonna kill her no this is normal when they start breeding they're gonna fight a little bit and they're gonna pick on each other the male's already started to breed with the female see it he's got her tail you hear the sounds he's making do y'all hear that it's like an eh, eh, eh. The male is already trying to get with the female right off the bat. That is insane, y'all. That is insane. So, there y'all have it. This guy is already ready to start making babies right off the bat. He's already got the female. So, we'll give him some time. We'll close them up, leave them alone. And then we'll see here in the next few weeks if they have babies. I guess I should say eggs if they have eggs. Well, there y'all have it. We officially have our crested geckos together and breeding. So we have two pairs of two, of course. Obviously, you can't have one without the other. And they are going to be breeding. And over time, they may leave us some eggs. And if they do, I'll, of course, film that and let you guys know. Now, based on how freaky those geckos were getting, they'll probably end up having babies for us here very soon. With all that being said, y'all, I really hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Drop video ideas and suggestions down in the comments because sometimes I run out of ideas and I need y'all's help to give me more video ideas and whatnot that you guys want to see. After y'all have done that, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, cop the merch, all that good stuff. Follow my Instagram. My Instagram is slowly but surely growing, and I post all sorts of exclusive content on my Instagram. So if you're not following it, then what are you doing? So yeah, follow my Instagram. Link in the description. With all that being said, I will see you beautiful people all in the next one. Peace! Hey guys, what are y'all doing? Look at y'all. I'm going to film some videos with y'all here very soon.